In the last session we took time to think about meeting together with our fellow Christians and the encouragement we get from each other and the way that we learn together as we share together. This week is thinking more about how we nurture faith on our own, taking times of reflection and opportunity to think about faith and life outside of what we share on a Sunday morning. The promise is this, do you promise to be faithful in reading the Bible and in prayer? An encouragement from the church that every member should be engaged in some way in reading the Bible and praying in a regular way outside of a Sunday morning. At the time of the Reformation, when the church was formed in the 16th century, that would have been sitting round as a family and reading the family Bible. People regularly did that, old learning from young, young learning from old, as they sat and read the scriptures together. Very few families share in this way. If yours is bucking that trend, then I would want to encourage you to continue with that. But many of us have not managed to work in that kind of way. So how do we create opportunities for reflection on our own? In this session, I'm going to suggest five ways that you might do that. I'm not suggesting that you would do all five, but that you would pick one of the five to work from. So you might pick up a book of the Bible and simply work your way through that. You might use a Bible app, and there are many of those available. You might sign up instead for a daily email. You might use the examine prayer, or you might engage in a prayer walk. Let me say just a bit about all five of these. First of all, about reading a book of the Bible. And if you were going to do that, I would encourage you to start with Mark's Gospel. It's the shortest Gospel, and in many ways the easiest one to start with. But you might want, alongside reading the chapters, to ask yourself some questions. Just to sit with them at your side. What surprised me? What reassured me? What challenged me? And if you wanted, you might write some of that down. You might like instead to have an app on your phone, something like Verse a Day or Daily Bible Inspirations, so that you could regularly use that app to go in and not only to read a passage, but to read what someone else was reflecting on that Bible passage. That might be something you would do instead of reading something on your own. Or you might prefer to get an email through regularly. Seeds of the Kingdom would be one of the ways of doing that. Sign up and they send you an email every day. And it's all there in the email without you having to do anything. One of the other things I mentioned you probably won't be aware of it is the prayer of examine. An opportunity often at the end of the day, but you could use it at the start of the day or even at lunchtime. An opportunity to use a pattern for prayer. Setting aside some quiet time. Asking for God's presence would be the first thing. Thanking God for the day's blessing would be the second. Asking for God's guidance would be the third. And then going over the events of the day, looking for two positive things and two negative things. And taking some time to pray through those. And then finally, asking that God would work in your life, that those things that are negative would not be carried forward and positive would be into the new day. That's a prayer card that you would be able to find online. And if you want to use that, the easiest thing to do would be to Google examine prayer cards and look at the images there. This is what you would find and you could use almost any of the images that are there to give you some guidance. Some will have prayers set out, some will simply have a structure for what's there. This would be a very simple one, the five things that you would do. This would be simpler still. Interestingly, that it's something that you could share even with your children. Breathe, become aware of the space where you are and of God's presence. Be grateful for what God has done. Feel. Sense what has gone on that day and what your feelings are around it. Pray about what's been going on. And then in looking ahead, pray for God's presence. A very simple way of doing the prayer of examine whenever during the day we would choose to do that. The final thing would simply be prayer walking. 
many of us find that actually we need to get away and sitting in a quiet space is not helpful for us. But instead it is as we walk that distractions are laid to one side and we pray while we're walking. Perhaps if you were going to do that, you would say two or three times this week and next week, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go out walking and I'm going to somehow in that moment pray and speak with God and listen for what he's saying to me. If you're interested in taking this even further and saying this is not just about me, but actually about my family, then you might want to look at the Kitchen Table Project by Care for the Family. If you want to know more about that, speak to Katrina. It's something that she's been looking at and been doing in some ways with her family. Something that can be done not just on your own, but together. But as you share just now, I hope that you'll take some time to think through those five things that we've spoken about and to think which one of those suits me. I think of it very much like doing exercise. A number of years ago, Jane and I signed up to go to the gym together. It lasted for about a month because truth is, neither of us really enjoyed it. If you're going to exercise, you need to do something that you enjoy. It may be something that you have to drag yourself out to do, but once you get there, you enjoy it. So for me, that would be swimming rather than going to the gym. What is it for you out of those five things that actually you might say, well, I'd have to somehow work at doing it, but in doing it, I would enjoy it. Which of those five things might you take on over the next few weeks and encourage each other in doing that? So that someone else is doing it alongside you and you're encouraging each other through what you're doing. The question then would be, what do you think will work for you? And who might buddy with you? Something about doing it with others that makes it easier. Discussion questions then for you as we talk and share in this together and for you to work through individually.